everybody. This is Becky. Where am I? I hope I stay in frame. Um, this is my paper bag junk journal. And um, I used Calico Collage Images, her new kit, the Dragonfly Delight. It's really pretty. It's really colorful and and um, kind of fairy, mystical, um, magical. Anyway, uh, I tried a different style of cover this time. I'd never um, tried it before, but and, and I like the way it turned out. So I think I'll do some other variations. Uh, this book is approximately six inches wide by nine and there is a two inch spine approximately maybe a little bit more and um, let's get started I just have these wrapped around it they're not attached I can attach them if the buyer wants me to. Let's start out with the cover. First of all, um, one of my handmade flowers attached um, to the cover. It's got also a little wing and um, a rhinestone rondelle um, pinned on. Now, as you can see, this is um, paper. Then there's a paper bag here, and then there's another paper bag. Um, and I made um, pockets uh, with the layers. So this is a pocket and I have a little envelope with some writing tucked in. And then the second area here is also a pocket and there is a little tag from the kit as well. And then this bag here goes it doesn't cover the whole cover it partially goes around but this is the part that I have most of the lace and fabrics layered onto is this bag and they're all sewed on here um, and then here is a little booklet I made just with extra paper um, that goes in that slot so there's one two three um, slots right here let me show you, this is the, the binding. It's got several layers here. And then, see this, you can see where, this is where the other bag stops. And this is also a pocket. Um, this is where the outer bag stops. And then this is another sturdier brown craft type bag. That's the actual cover, cover. And then there's like layers and layers and layers of lace. So, when you first open it, I used some linen, uh, vintage linen fabric as the uh, enforcement here for the, for the uh, binding. This is a pocket. Let me get my little tag here so you can tuck stuff into here. These are envelopes, just legal size envelopes that I printed the... Um, image onto and made little pockets out of them and then I attached um, some velvet and some fabric. Here's another envelope that's got writing material in it. And then on this side I, I also um, printed this side as well. Let me scoot this over. Um, here's another little booklet I made with scraps. Um, this is just a fold. And this is a pocket here as well. This is the flap of the envelope. So you have the inside and then you have the flap on this side. Um, this is some cardstock that I had in my collection that kind of blended well with, the, with it, as well as this piece here. And this is a tip-in so that you can journal there. This is part of the um, kit. 
page and the other page. Then I have a couple of pages of, hang on. The dog is barking outside my window. Um, this has a couple of composition pages for journaling. Just a brown paper bag. This is coffee dyed or tea dyed paper that I got from Kelly Snow by Gone Varieties Shop on Etsy. And fabric tabs, and here's a pocket piece of ledger. Um, here's another pocket that I made using um, some of the images from the kit, and I just cut out the shape on the edges. This is a little um, writing piece that I made and it has um, all the pictures, the images are from the kit um, and the envelope itself came from Tattered Dreams um, from Denise's shop. It's a really cool kind of envelope. Um, this is a pocket here and then you open it and you have this, this is also a pocket here, and this opens, and it opens up so you can write inside. If you want to attach everything and use it as an envelope, which is what it is, this is also perforated here if you wanted to tear that off, and I also have this on the back in case you wanted to use it as an envelope, and it has a pocket as well. So this is a fun little element to add. And what I did here was I just did two pages of the same copy. That way I could layer it, the pocket over. I did that on some of the pages. And here's one of the other pages. Here's some of Kelly's um, stained paper. And this has additional um, turquoise glimmer mist spray. Here is another piece that I made a pocket out of, and this is a glassine with some tags and cards to write on. And another stained paper. This is an old piece of wallpaper that I had in my collection. So um, you could write on it. Um, you could also gesso it and use it for a background or for photos, make a good photo mat. And I have a couple pieces of graph paper here. And this is transfer paper. Here's some more of the collection. And another pocket that I did over here. And a paper bag that I've coffee stained. Here's a coffee stained paper from Kelly with another pocket here. And then this is uh, journaling paper, notebook paper, and some more of the collection. This is the center. Um, I'm going to put some little tab tabs on the strings here. I love this. this is my favorite page. I love it. I love her. She's beautiful. And here we go. This is the other half of everything on the first signature. There's three signatures in this book. And it is a soft cover, although it's pretty sturdy. Here's the other transfer paper. The rest of that paper. This here is a belly band. These are some Prima flowers I got on sale. Aren't the pages beautiful? I just think they're lovely. They're just pretty. There's some more. I made a pocket at the top bag. I left it closed. You can cut it either here or if you wanted like a top insert, you could cut it here. So I left that up to the buyer. Okay, over here I have this is one of the pages that I cut out. 
and this is on a glassine bag that I made a clip up with and you can put stuff in your bag here the top is open so you have a, an open top fairly large bag that flips up so you can write or put pictures here or down there and I have that paper clip so that it doesn't flop around when the book is closed as you can see I layered it with cheesecloth and stuff too and this is the other half of all of that this is the second signature and again you can see I have another envelope the different design got the tuck in the back this one I did not cut open you can do that if you'd like um, it just it's up to you sometimes I cut only one half and not the other just depends on what you want this is one of the envelopes from the kit and when you open it I left it so that you could write on it if you want you could easily close it up and make it an envelope so, and this side is another extra journaling or photo spot I left some of the pages white because there's white in the design it's kind of got a little bit of every color which makes it easy to put various things into it's another one of the printed pages more journaling pages this is a, a paper bag that I have that I bought and inside it is a glassine envelope and inside that are several little cards from the kit to use and then here's the paper bag as well and you'll notice I have tabs every so often that are made with uh, vintage lace and some fabric some of it's vintage some of it's not um, I just wanted it to be colorful and I have a few tabs at the top too Okay, this is one of the die cut images that's part of the kit and here I made this into a pocket on the front and it's a double sided card and you can write on the back and it tucks right there this is a belly band this is wallpaper I'm gonna lift this up this wallpaper is flocked and it's very old it's kind of got a muted gold or almost like a tea stained background here this is ivory this is like a greenish gray flocking and this flocking is pink I just love this paper and you can do the same with it you can write on it on the back as well and this is some more Kelly snow paper and I have extra cutouts just things to write on tucked in here another tracing paper and a page from the kit this is another envelope full of tags from the kit or not an envelope I'm sorry a glassing bag ledger sheet um, graph paper there's two pages here and some more from the kit and again this is the center of the signature the tabs are lacy and feminine kind of shabby I left the strings um, if the buyer doesn't want them I'll trim them all down I trimmed a lot of them but I left some of them to me it adds the shabbiness but some people don't like it so this is um, another belly band I made with the cutouts um, I thought that was cute happiness is flying with your own wings and this is a Kelly snow 